This video reviews Schwinn Empower Echelon Console Maintenance Menu Navigation. The maintenance mode allows service technicians to set bike configurations, see maintenance data, run calibrations, and upgrade console firmware. To enter this mode on the Echelon Console, press and hold the Stage and End buttons together at once for 5 to 7 seconds. To navigate the console maintenance menu and submenu options, use the stage and end buttons to scroll and the light button as an enter key. The units menu displays miles per hour or kilometers per hour. To change this setting, press the light button to select kilometers per hour. It should flash. Toggle to miles per hour using the end button and press the light button to select and save. Gear shows a number from 1 to 19 indicating resistance. The gear menu allows you to toggle between on and off. To change this setting, press the light button to select on. It should flash. Toggle to off using the end button and press the light button to select and save. The calibrate menu has three options, calibrate up, current angle, and rider calibration. Calibrate up calibrates the power sensor. Current angle displays the current angle reported by the power sensor. Rider calibration turns rider calibration on or off. Schwinn recommends rider calibration to be set to on. To change rider calibration to on, press the end button until you see rider and press the light button. Now rider calibrate is displayed. Press end to toggle from off to on and then the light button to save. In the latest version of console firmware, calibrate angle offset is another option. This is an advanced method of fine-tuning the wattage calibration on the console. Angle offset can be adjusted from negative 99% to positive 99%. If watts readings consistently seem high or low on a particular bike, even after running an up calibration, this adjustment can be used to even the scale. The battery menu shows the percent of life remaining on the console battery. The console uses two C-cell batteries which can last up to nine months depending on usage. The system menu has four submenus: Summary, Reset, Active RPM, and Backlight. System Summary displays usage hours in the current console software version. System Reset will reset the console by powering it off and back on. This function is also used for console firmware updates. Active RPM is the RPMs needed to activate or wake up the console into workout mode. This can be set between 40 and 120 RPMs. System Backlight gives options for enabling or disabling the console's backlight. Options include on, off, or timer from 1 to 20 minutes. Also in the newest version of console firmware is Open Ant. This feature is used to enable or disable the Ant Plus send protocol that is used with group data capturing software such as Performance IQ. This data broadcast will use significant battery life. If you're not using this type of software, make sure it is set to off. Please note this option does not affect the ability for the Echelon console to connect to personal Ant Plus data capturing devices such as Garmin watches. Please refer to the Echelon console owner's manual for further definitions and parameters of the console's configurable items.